Hey everyone, this is just a map I've been working on recently. I drew it up this afternoon for Andrew over at Dawnforge Cast. It's for a Dungeons and Dragons campaign he's playing currently, I believe. I'd like to show you some of the features I've been working on recently. So here's a new way to do mountains. And I'm keeping the mountain shapes pretty simple. Just rough triangular shapes. But I'm trying to give them a little bit more pop by the way that I'm shading them. I choose a very thin marker and I try and shade them in such a way, like on this mountain for example, where the shading moves back and forth across the side of the mountain, implying other shapes uh, in the slopes of the mountains. Giving it a bit more of a realistic feel, I hope. And we have things like uh, my forests, which I'm tending to do more like this these days. Clumps of these sharp little triangular points, implying pine trees. I feel like it lets the forest breathe a little bit more. They don't feel like they are you know, clumps of trees all bound together by a strict edge. And I like that look. It also has a railroad track, which is pretty easy to do. Apparently, Andrew's players are building a railroad in his game. And over on the coast, I'm doing these uh, little waves washing onto shore. I think it's a good way to imply where the edge of the land meets the water. And I just have increasingly uh, thinner and thinner pens that I'm using as they get farther out, which allows the waves to get more and more faint as it goes out into the ocean. Well, I thought I'd just give you a look at what I'm working on right now. Uh, if you'd like, you can head over to uh, Andrew's channel. I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, he did an interview with me recently about my Maze Rats role-playing game. So if you're curious about that system, you can go ahead and watch that. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.